On to the big earnings of the day now. Tata Motors' growth engine sputtered and choked in the third quarter earnings. The automaker's consolidated net profit slipped to around 100 crore rupees versus around 3,000 crore rupees in the corresponding quarter last fiscal. Total income was also down by around 3,000 crore rupees. This as support from their uh, associate company, subsidiary Jaguar Land Rover, has steadily faded away. Also, Tata Motor standalone business recorded a massive 1,000 crore rupee loss over the quarter. So clearly, problems are plenty there for Tata Motors. But staying with Tata Motors, the management of Tata Motors today was grilled by big bull Rakesh Junjunwala himself, who is a big investor in the firm. He questioned the company's forex hedging strategy. Here's that exchange he had with the Tamo top management. First of all, your realization of the honey amount is at a lower value of the pound as compared to the previous value. Previous year. That's correct. Second is your amount of pound held at the rate around 120, above 140 or above 130. Yeah. Would be also lower. So every quarter, sir, you realize hedges should go down, no? You realize hedges losses. Uh, yeah, maybe what I'd say is, in principle, I think what you're describing is correct, but the, maybe the difference is, um, just to provide a little bit more texture, we're hedging, our hedge program doesn't just hedge one year out. We hedge one year out at up to 80%, two years out at up to 60%, three years out at up to 40, 45%, 45%, four years out, out at up to 25%, and, and yes. maybe even a little yeah. bit of 50 years. So what so what for the quarter um, January to March 2017, some yep. part of it is hedged after June 2016, no, when the pound collapsed. Let's take the quarter that we're in right now. Only a small part of that, a very small part, would have been hedged since June of last year. Not since June, so, it post-June. Yes, that's, sorry, that's what I meant. That, yes, that's what I meant, post-June. Only a small part of the quarter that we're in now <laughs> Has been but as time progresses, post more and more of the hedging would have been post-June, no? For the next quarter, the hedging post-June will be greater. No. Well, uh, well, yes, for the next quarter, the hedging post-June will be greater, but because of the fact that we are hedging in gradually over time, 80% one year out, 60% to 43%, then it takes time. It, then we're only talking about a relatively short period of time since June. So for the quarter that we're in, I'd say it's probably a very small proportion has been hedged since. No, sir, one thing is very clear. Because you have hedged beyond 1.25, you're always going to have hedging loss. Certainly for, yes. Right? Um, the only thing is that those losses will come. See, your actual realization is a great profit. If you're not hedged, you're on 450 million pounds. Am I right? That yeah, is it, the nature of hedging. We've... We hedged in order to yeah. protect the business against... Well, I think I have to take this online. It's going to be very difficult. I'll take it offline, sir, again. Uh, okay. Uh, let okay. me know, Mr. Junjunwala. We can meet up separately. Yes.